Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. This fall, I will be a second grade teacher in West Michigan. And as I'm filming this today, it is Thursday. It is June 24th, and I have had a very busy week so far. So I mentioned to you in a previous video that I decided not to do summer school this summer. However, my best friend, Melissa, who is made for second grade here on YouTube, over on Instagram, all the fun places, she's great, like real life best friend. We have been since we were in elementary school. She had a vacation planned to Disney and it just so happened to coincide with the first three days of summer school so she said hey Kim would you be willing to teach my summer school class for the first three days and I said yeah I think I've got that so I've taught summer school the past three days now I am NOT teaching summer school anymore however I am gonna go drop some things off to Melissa this morning summer school just started six minutes ago so I tried to time it so that way I wouldn't have to wait in traffic for like all the parents who are dropping off so I think now is a good time to go so I'm just about to head over to her and I printed some pictures of some of the kids from the past couple days to stick on the lockers and stuff and yeah Melissa's gonna have a ton of fun with that group I am very excited to not be doing summer school though the whole summer because I was exhausted every day this week when I got home like seriously so tired on Monday I like crashed on the couch for like four hours after summer school so it is a lot of work but a ton of fun for Melissa as well and I am glad that I have my summer still so yesterday I got a text message from my principal while I was doing summer school and he he was like, hey, I need you to come in today or tomorrow morning to clean out your room, get every single thing off of desks and like the floor and stuff because they came in a little bit early. They as in like the custodial staff came in early to do the floor cleaning. And so I thought I had until next week because originally we were told we just needed to have it done by July. So I had planned on being there like all day today, all day tomorrow if I needed to, but I ended up instead going straight from summer school yesterday to going into my classroom and working on it until pretty late. So I got a lot done, but I didn't have my vlogging camera on me or anything. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have vlogged anyways because it was just like so crazy. I was honestly really, really stressed out. So I was a little bit grumpy and yeah, just running around trying to get everything picked up so it's looking a lot better than it was I will insert a before picture right now and an after picture right now So it is looking a lot better, but it is not all the way done. So I need to go swing by Melissa's summer school class this morning. Then I have a chiropractor appointment and then I'm going to head to my classroom to finish cleaning up. The thing that I left is I still need to sort books. I knew that would be a big job, but I also knew that if I don't end up getting to it today and they try to come into my room to clean it, I can grab the boxes of books and stick them in the back room if I need to. And I do have permission to like have the back room full because I guess they don't clean those floors. I'm not really sure, but yes, I can leave those full but I would rather just like sort the books now than like stuff them back there and then have to do it later so we will see how it goes but yes that is my day so I am going to head out I'm gonna go swing by Melissa summer school and then I will probably check in with you again once I get to my classroom so see you when I see you also I forgot to mention this shirt is from East Nash teacher and I think it's so stinking cute and then I'm just wearing leggings today I dressed up a little bit more for summer school the rest of this week but I figure I'm not teaching today so I think it's fine if I swing by in leggings and a t-shirt and then I'm just gonna wear my favorite little old navy sandals so that's the game plan <laughs> Okay, so now I am in my new classroom as I'm sure you can tell and I will walk you around in just a moment to Share with you what it's looking like right now, but I do have a lot of work to do today The custodial staff is already here in the building getting started right away. It's like 9 20 a.m. Right now So I got done my couple of things off my checklist I needed to do this morning before I got here now I'm here ready to get to work But all of the books and stuff that are on the desks in the background I don't know how well you can see that but those all need to be put away and I hate to just like shove them in bins and stuff I really want to like organize them first because it's just gonna create way more work for me if I just like shove them somewhere so I'm hoping to organize them today we'll see how it goes though because if they try to pop in my room and like ask me if I'm ready I might have to just like shove whatever I'm not done with in my back room so my back room is like very very full right now I will share that with you in just a moment 
And then also I would love to be able to take down the bulletin board paper today. So we will see, I think I'm gonna do that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's basically it. So let me pull you off the tripod and I will walk you around. Okay, so this is basically like when you walk in the room, my door is right there. So I did fill up all of these cabinets with some curriculum materials and some other stuff as well some of the stuff that i stored in here eventually i'm going to store in the stage but the stage has not been delivered yet for my other classroom and i'm not able to move that on my own so i tried to kind of organize it but also i know that it's going to change so I don't know it is what it is for now but basically the main goal was just getting it like out of the way and out of um, the space that's over here because this is the space that's gonna be cleaned so they're gonna do like a deep clean of the floors and move all the furniture out which is why I need to have the desks completely cleared off and then also I'm gonna have to get those counters cleared off as well so here's the desk space Again, I haven't taken down the bulletin board paper yet, but that is on the agenda. Here is how behind the desk is looking. It's not great, but it'll be better eventually. <laughs> over here I have a bookshelf i might have to cover this i'm not quite sure i need to ask and see um yeah i'm not sure one way or the other but that is there for now and then here is the doozy okay here is the back room it is a lot i know it is a lot i hate to have it like this but also i really don't have any other option because i still need to finish going through some of the things that were left in the classroom so it is what it is but it's like completely full back here and once the floors are clean I can start like bringing this stuff out and actually organizing it better but for now like I said the main goal just had to be to get everything off of the desks and so that's what I did so yeah there's just like a ton of stuff back here and then I have my little wagon that I'm gonna collapse eventually chairs should be fine like that they'll just bring them out as is and then desks they'll bring out as well and then over here, I have books <laughs> and more books and so many books. And some of the books are organized because I already organized them, but some of them are not. Like some of them are just donated to me. So the ones that are like the chapter books right there, those are all organized, which is nice. Like those three boxes and then trying not to move too fast. This box over here is organized and then some of these books are a little bit organized. That box is organized. But then if you look over here, I have a whole bunch of books that have not been organized yet. So like that whole entire bin right there has not been organized. These I need to go through. And then down here, this is a donate box. So I need to run to the thrift store at some point today and drop this off. And I have like two other boxes in my car to donate as well. We are adopting Amplify Science this year for third through fifth grade. So there were a ton of these Amplify Science boxes. So that's why you'll see a bunch of those probably in my classroom. I, I think I already got rid of some of them, but I use those to move and they were like the perfect size and they have handles so that was great and then yesterday I actually tried touching up this bookshelf that was left in the room so I happened to find some white paint so I'm like oh perfect and I kind of like like the brushed on look like where it's not like perfect so it's not like supposed to look perfect like you can see like the brush strokes and stuff but I think it looks a lot better than it did I don't have like a before picture but I do think I showed it in my last vlog so yes and then also I'm realizing that I need to change some of the labels so instead of doing like farm animals forest animals I think I'm just going to do animal fiction and then animal nonfiction because otherwise I feel like it's gonna to be too complicated for the kids and it's harder for me and to like monitor as well so I think it's gonna be better to just do animal nonfiction and then animal fiction so that is the game plan and then I also have a bunch of these books over here that were donated to me that I'll probably use as like baggy books but I don't really have like a plan for that yet so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that I might just like grab a box and start putting them in a box for now I don't know but yes and then I can stack some stuff over here as well so I have like a bunch of baskets from my basket wall and then stools and baskets and all this stuff over here I might try to take down this wall today as well if I have time we will see and yeah that's how the room is looking so it's like I said looking a lot better than it was but there's definitely still a lot of work to do so let's do this Okay, so now we are working on the books. Mom's here, mom, do you wanna wave? They can kinda see you in the background. We are working on sorting the books. Called mom in for reinforcement, so she is helping out in the room. Um, so, yes, 
lots and lots of books and there is kind of a method to my madness but I'm trying to like go through the books and sort what I want to keep and what I want to give away um, or use for like baggy books at the same time that my mom's trying to sort the ones that we want to keep into the bins so it's kind of a hot mess express right now but we're holding on also the custodians just tried coming in and so I tried to run over to like tell them like I'm trying I'm trying we'll be out so soon um, but then now they're gone so I don't know where they went but there's like so many people in the building so we are trying but I really would like to actually put these away and not just shove them in the back room so that's the goal for today so yes okay I think I'm just gonna set you up on a tripod and work on this because there's a lot to be done. <laughs> We're making some progress. The light just turned on in the hallway, which means they must be coming back. The custodial staff is like everywhere, and I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, but we have like lots of sorting going on. We've been filling up the bins. I have mom standing up over there taking down the bulletin board paper. So it's just like there's a lot going on, and my sound stopped working yesterday on my computer for some reason, and so we're just doing it in silence. We're just talking to each other, so there's no like music or anything, which usually we would put on like music or a movie or something and we're working in the room, but that's okay. So oh, that's the update. All right, here we go. Okay, my camera is recording now. Just so you know. Oh. <laughs> 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 it was recording right when you did that. Yep, it was. I think that is just about as good as it's gonna get. Mom's over there. Um, we worked really hard. We have a ton of stuff in the back room and I think we are going to leave this room now. I have a box of stuff to drop off at the thrift store, so that's on the agenda. And then also we need to go over to my old classroom still and grab out my desk, like my personal desk. And I'm actually gonna just take that home because now I have like a school desk that I can use. So a ton of work. Mom helped a ton. Thanks for being here, mom. I appreciate you. And yeah, ugh, ugh, ugh. it was like kind of stressful, but we did it, so yay. So I'm gonna walk you around really quick and show you what it's looking like. And then we are going to go over to the old room and then we're gonna skedaddle. So here we go. Okay, so this was the biggest undertaking from today and I was hoping that maybe I wouldn't have that top row filled so they could clean that, but that's okay. I'll just clean it myself when we are ready to set up the classroom. So we sorted books into different bins and I think I talked about it in a previous vlog, but I was gifted like four or five like huge boxes full of books and so it was like a lot to go through. So I sorted through those and then my mom, like once I sorted through them and decided which ones to keep and give away, and do like baggy books with. Then my mom tried to work on sorting them into these bins, which I have nonfiction over here, series books in the middle, and then I have all of my fiction that don't fit into a series category over here. So there's like realistic fiction, there's poetry, fantasy. I have three bins of animal fiction with another bin of animal fiction over there. So I definitely still need to make labels. That's why there's like all these sticky notes and one sticky note just fell. Oh no, so I'll have to tape that up a minute. But yes, so lots of work to still do here during classroom setup time. But for now, that's about as good as it's gonna get for today. And then over here we have stuff, there's mom. Um, hi mom, you don't have to run away, it's okay. You can be in the vlog clip. Um, you've already been in one, they know you're here. So, uh, oh, also mom took down the bulletin board paper and look at how nice the bulletin boards are behind it. Like in my old classroom, they were lime green and these ones are actually really pretty. So I still probably will cover them, <laughs> but they're really pretty, so that's nice. And then this is all cleaned up. There's like a bunch of trash over there, so the trash is gonna say, oh, there's a custodian. 
Okay, I'm getting caught because everyone's walking by my room, but oh well. So there's a bunch of trash over here. That stuff is going out with us. And then back room, we just turned off the light, but let me turn it back on. So this is what the back room's looking like. My mom did a bunch of reorganizing so we could fit a ton more books in here. So all of the chapter books are still going to need to be put away, <laughs> but I need to wait until I have another bookshelf in here to do that. And I thought it would probably be better to just store these back here for now anyway, so they can like fully clean the floors. So so this room is very full. This is gonna be a lot of work during classroom setup, but that's fine. We'll get there when we get there. So that's how it's going for now. It looks like those lamps are on, but they are not on. So that's what the room is looking like. And then back here as well, all the bins. And then mom, thanks for helping mom. Hello, sweet friends. So right now I have you balanced on the couch. It is Saturday morning right now and my husband and I have our bags all packed. This is my husband's suitcase right here, but the bags are packed and we are just about to leave for our trip to Cape Cod. So we are staying in Cape Cod for the next week. We are going with one of my best friends and her husband and we are driving all the way there. So we're starting that drive in about 20 minutes. So I'm super excited, but I was super busy yesterday so I didn't really have a ton of time to vlog. I was packing and just getting things prepared. So I'm really excited. If you live in Massachusetts and know of any like restaurants we need to check out or anything we need to do while we're there, we are also going to go to Nantucket, Martha Vineyard and Boston and yeah I'm super excited so let me know if there's anywhere that you would recommend in a comment below whether it's like a restaurant or something to do I would love to know and then we can add that to our schedule while we're there and other than that you probably won't hear from me for the next week unless you follow me on Instagram so go check out my Instagram I'm sure I'll be posting a whole lot on there and I might vlog part of the trip but I also want to just like enjoy my time with friends and family and enjoy my vacation so I'm super excited. So anyways, I will check in with you when I get back Maybe you'll see a travel vlog from me and then I will get to be back in my classroom and maybe start classroom setup Hopefully soon. So thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up Also, make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already and I will see you in the next one. Bye